Hi everyone. There are two ways to use WhatsApp on desktop or laptop. You can use either WhatsApp app for desktop or a web browser to access the WhatsApp web. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you both ways so that you can see the pros and cons of each of them. So if you are on Windows 10 or later, open Microsoft Store to download and install WhatsApp for Windows. If you don't see WhatsApp on the top free apps, you can simply search for it. Move the mouse pointer over the app and then click it to download and install it. Once the installation is done, click open to open the WhatsApp for desktop. Click get started on the welcome window and WhatsApp will then show a QR code for you to scan. Now open WhatsApp on your phone, tap the three dots at the top right corner of the screen and then tap link devices. On the following screen, tap link device and WhatsApp will launch the QR code scanner on your phone. Now scan the QR code shown on the WhatsApp app on your desktop. Alright, so now you can start sending and receiving messages from your desktop. You can also make and receive voice and video calls while still working on your desktop. Once you are done, you can log out from the WhatsApp for desktop by clicking the profile button at the bottom left corner of the window and then click log out. But if you want to close the app without logging out from WhatsApp, you can simply click the close button of the window. This way, WhatsApp on your desktop will remain linked to your phone and later you can use it immediately whenever you open it. All right, now the second way is using WhatsApp web, which you can access from any computer that can run a web browser. So open your favorite web browser and go to web.whatsapp.com. You should see a web page that shows a QR code like this. Now open WhatsApp on your phone tap the three dots at the top right corner of the screen, and then tap link devices. On the following screen, tap link device, and then scan the QR code shown on the web browser. All right, so here it is, the WhatsApp web. You can now send and receive messages from this web page. Once you are done, you can simply close the browser, or click the hidden menu icon and then click log out. All right, so those are the two ways to use WhatsApp on desktop or laptop. I hope you find this tutorial useful and thank you for watching.